All right, so this is our Sony camera control unit in Studio 2, and we power it on back here in the back left, and you'll see that the lights light up, and it'll kind of go through a cycle, a boot up cycle, and once uh, it just defaults to camera one being lit up, we can now uh, you know, select our different cameras. So if you remember in Studio Intro class, uh, I call a row of buttons a bus, B-U-S, and so we've got our camera bus here. We've got four cameras in Studio 2, there are three that are actually in the studio, and then camera four is in the control room. So I can select whichever camera I want to move, and then I can come to the joystick, and I can tilt up, I can tilt down, I can pan left and pan right, and then I can twist the top of the joystick right or left to zoom in and out, and then I can also, I have up to 16 different positions for each individual camera, and so I'll get to that in a second. But if I come down here, I have the ability to focus my camera, so I can select uh, auto or manual focus. And if I'm in uh, manual focus, I have the ability to adjust focus here on this uh, knob. If you are in manual focus, you can press the one push auto focus button, and that'll Focus, if you press and hold that, it'll focus on uh, whatever is in the forefront that it feels should be in focus. And uh, it's usually best to stay in autofocus unless you have a need to rack focus on anything like that. If you're in uh, a manual exposure settings, you can come in here to mode and you can uh, make sure you wanna see your bright lit up right there by hitting mode. And then this middle knob is going to be your iris. So you can adjust your iris there. You won't see the number on the screen, but you can come in here and adjust your iris. And then this is your shutter speed, this top knob. It's usually not best to uh, adjust the shutter speed from this way, but um, definitely you can come in here and iris your camera based on the waveform monitor. And then if you hit mode again, you get your red and blue options for color you can adjust uh, your color settings this way if you're in a uh, specific exposure or uh, color settings in, through the menu. But typically you're gonna be using the bright mode to adjust your iris. And then if you want to lock the entire board, this side of the board, you can hit lock and this prevents anybody from making adjustments. All right, you've got your panel light. So if you wanna light up the panel, I don't know if you can see that, but it does light up yellow. That's if the lights were off, you could, uh, hit the lights and see the panel light up. You also have uh, backlights, not really useful in this space because we're using studio lights, but pan, tilt, reset. If you're having an issue with a camera, let's say camera one's not responding, you can hit pan, tilt, reset, and that camera is gonna go through a reset cycle. Uh, it'll take, it'll take you know, a few seconds and then it'll reset itself. If you're having further issues with the camera not responding, then get the equipment staff and they'll, they'll run some uh, just some, some tech uh, on the camera. It might be uh, an, a larger issue than just it need to be reset. One push auto white balance is if you're in a specific menu setting in the, uh, the one push auto white balance, you can then uh, zoom in your camera on a white card and then press this and it'll white balance to that card. And then your menu, menu you can get into your menu settings to adjust your exposure and your, uh, your color settings. All right, and then to uh, create a preset for your camera, if you uh, find, you know, if you're on say the camera two and I find a shot that looks good and I wanna set it, I can hit, press and hold preset and then press a number. So I just created preset one. So I held down preset and hit one. So that's now saved if I want to then pan right zoom in on the next person, I can hold down preset two. I just created a preset two, so now if I hit camera two and then a one, it'll change the initial preset. If I now hit two, it'll change to the preset I just created. And again, you can have up to 16 for each. So if you do ever get past eight, you can hit um, shift preset and then the number. And so now it's nine. So now I've just created nine. So if you ever need to hit it, you can go shift nine. And then if you ever wanna reset one, you can hit reset and then the number. So I just reset number one, 
you want to reset nine, it would be shift reset nine. So those are the basics of the board. That's really all you need to know for operation of the, uh, the Sony camera control unit. And then we can do a separate video on the actual uh, the menu.